everyone, and welcome back to the Doctor Who Adventure Games. This is episode 3, TARDIS. Now, uh, I apologise there was no Minecraft yesterday. I was busy sorting some more stuff for the move. And I will continue in a second. That's not true! Okay then, name one of your holidays that didn't end up in a big, mad disaster. Well, there was Brighton Beach. Actually, no, that didn't end well. <laughs> Had a lovely time in Paris. Uh, you know, that went a bit wrong. Still waiting. Trouble seems to follow me around. Hmm, yeah. I've noticed. And it's never your fault, of course. Well, not always. Sometimes things go wrong all by themselves. Such as. A bit like now, then! <laughs> We're still in the wrong time, Vortex! Something's wrong! Really? What gave it away? Oh, Oh, hello. Doctor! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and talk over the sound. I've deliberately turned it down um, a little bit. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it's going to come out alright. Um, I know that last time I had a bit of a problem with being heard over this. But, uh, yeah, I apologise that there was no Minecraft yesterday. Um, as I said, I was sorting through bits for the move. Um, this might happen again in future. I might just have to take odd days off. I'm, I'm determined to keep uploading and, and uh, my model videos and things will, constantly, will always come up on the weekend as best I can. But it just means other, other videos and things might have to wait and uh, be interchangeable. But let's get back to this. Oh, how interesting. I can't hear you! Speak up! Oh, you can't breathe. <laughs> okay, uh, what do I do? How do I fix it? Quick! Oh, great. We're both terrible at charades. <laughs> okay, two words. First, First word. word. Hurry up! Sounds, Sounds like... like... You! The Doctor, heart, two hearts, monkey, gorilla, King Kong, Tarzan, ribs, chest, chest! Sounds like chest, guest, best, press? Press. Press doesn't rhyme with chest. <laughs> oh, second word. Sounds like face, hair, head, head. Sounds like head, bed, dead, red? Press. Red. The red. Press button. red, okay. Which one? There are loads of red things on here. <laughs> All of the red things? All of the red things. <sighs> okay then. <laughs> right, I am just going to put the sound up a little bit more. I apologise if this is a... No, 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 I don't want... Oh, am I going to have to quit? God damn it. Okay, um... Alright, don't worry about it for this episode, I'll do it for, for the next one then. Um, yeah, I apologise if my sound is going to be muffled a bit in the next episode. I'm still working out what, uh... What, um... What works best? Let's see if there are any cars are out there. Yes. First Doctor. It's nice to be playing back these again. Um, the reason I had to stop was because uh, I play, was playing the Mac versions. Um, I had the original installs and unfortunately they stopped working. I can't really need to help them quick. Um, yeah, it uh, it stopped working, uh, the Mac version, so... Oh, the master. So uh, I had to um, try and find the PC versions and install them using Wine. It's actually can at times be a bit complicated. There's another one down there. there might be. Um, but yeah, so it was it was good to get it finished. Licorice. Oh, God, licorice. So yeah, it was good to get these uh, to get these uh, uploaded and reinstalled so I can uh, carry on playing these because uh, I do want to get these done as a series. Right. All the red things. Oh, that's good. It's letting me know which one. One more to go. Now, I know there was a red button around here somewhere. There it is. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's, there's another... Look, there's a red button over there. That's a red button. What is that if not a red button? It's doing something. Good job he can he's got his respiratory bypass system. King Kong? Why would I tell you to press King Kong? Never <laughs> mind, I'm just glad I can breathe again. The TARDIS reset has automatically extended the air shell. Right, so here's the thing. We're caught in a riptide in the fabric of space-time. 
We're stuck in one of the pockets, and we don't have long until the TARDIS gets dragged to the next one. You'll have to find something you can use as a tractor beam and attach it to the console. Uh, you should find what you need in the drawing room. Hurry, before the TARDIS gets dragged away. I'll be trapped here with no way back. And how exactly am I supposed to find the drawing room? I've never been there before. I'm going to get to see some more right, of the TARDIS. Very simple. Take the corridor for about half a mile, turn left, then right, then right again, and then it's your third next right. Go past the weird swirly thing, left, then your other left, through the sunroom. Careful not to trip over the sun lounger, then you'll see a green door. Don't go in there. <laughs> go right, follow the wall until it gets a bit slimy, then take the lift to the third floor. Drawing room straight ahead. You can't miss it. Easy peasy. Uh, now, know. that is my private study, so don't mess about with anything. And nobody sits in my chair but me. Good luck. <laughs> I love how expansive the TARDIS is. It, I love I loved the invasion of time where it was just it was just like a warehouse, just bits and bits of warehouses, but it worked really well. Can we talk to him again? What are you waiting for? You need to get upstairs to the drawing room. Yeah, right. Upstairs. Ah. What did I do wrong? Doctor? That'll be the time, Riptide, messing around with the internal structure of the TARDIS. You can fix it by lining the levers on the mechanical board, make them all point upwards, and be quick! These blue things are chronomites, four-dimensional creatures that live in the void. Mostly harmless, but blimey O'Reilly, they're itchy. The... Wait, I... What did you say? The mechanical panel? I think I'm in. The, I know in, the, in a future episode you've got to make note of which panels which, so I probably should have been writing these down. But never mind. I've got to make everything point upwards. Okay, uh, hang on. Oh, I hate these kind of puzzles. Right, everything is pointing down now. Okay. So that's up. That's going to take that back down. So when I do that, that's going to take that down. But it's going to take both of those down. So I've got to get that one. Right, okay. So both of those are down. That brings both of them up. And one of them. So that's up. That's down. So okay, that one moved those two up. That takes those down. Both of those down. Damn it! Right, let's start again. Okay. So okay, that moves both of those up. Down. No, 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 no. Hey! Seems it worked. Hope I can find the drawing room. Let's go, Amy. I think there's a lot. If, I, if memory serves, because I have played this before, but it's been a long time ago, there's lots of cool stuff in the drawing room from like previous episodes. Both it's very tidy in everything. here, and that's not like the doctor. Lots of old clutter, though. Should be easy enough to find something to use as a tractor beam. Oh, I see a card. Get a card. A strange. Oh, she's from the um, stolen earth ones. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what's up. Ah, oh, Dalek Eye Stalk. <laughs> Lots of clocks, paintings. Yeah, I recognise that scarf. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pause those to read. If you want to read them, you can pause. But uh, it's got cuts from the TV movie. Cricket ball. Uh, for, so obviously, fourth Doctor's got from most of them. That's from the TV movie. That's. I'm gonna. Well, it's a cricket ball, so it could be from many things. Um, I think it's Frontieros where he uses it to get him back to ship. But I know he plays cricket in Black Orchid. It's one of my favourite episodes. Sonic Blast. Now, actually, this gives me a moment because. Um, I know some people have said, like, oh, River and Jack must have met each other uh, to be able to, uh, so she steals Jack's Sonic Blaster. Now, Jack obviously had more than one Sonic Blaster, so that's possible, but what I do know is in um, in one of the 10th Doctor comics, a comic called Tesseract, 
uh, when he's got his two companions in the comics, they're going around the TARDIS wardrobe, one of them sees the sonic blaster and goes to take it for herself. And the Tenth Doctor stops her saying, no, that's reserved from somebody else, uh, for somebody else. Now, in the narrative, it's implied that that is Jack's blaster that he left in the Ninth Doctor's TARDIS. And therefore, it's River that's going to take it. So I know a lot of people have often said, like, oh, well, that River must have gotten Jack Sonic from him. He did, she did, but she got it via the Tenth Doctor. Because um, obviously, the Ninth Doctor stole, he swapped it for a banana with Jack, put it in the TARDIS. Jack did have spare ones, but then the one that gets left in the TARDIS is River's one. And obviously, um, you know, it says it says the same, it says the same thing here, basically. But but it's it's it's. Um, I, I just I just felt that that's actually a good point to, to make note of that because obviously it's mentioned here in the in the narrative here but it's also mentioned in one of the comics and I know a lot of people don't read the comic I, I'm not I don't read the comics but it happened to be one of the ones I had read and I so um, you know I know it's it's something that a lot of people would debate as to how River got Jack's gun well there's your answer or at least there's a answer that's the one I subscribe to anyway what's that ah oh, Journal of Impossible Things what's that noise. Nothing it? good, I bet. Yes. Whoa! Oh, hello. I just looked through the rift up and the is really taking it back. Sick rack staff. <laughs> right, I don't, I don't want to look in there yet because I'm still looking around. It's that rascal on staff. Time Lord staff in. Let's see all the timers. So is that. That's not, um, no, I was going to say that's not Rassilon staff, because he's obviously gotten so the Doctor <laughs> must have nicked that staff from somebody else. Maybe that's the Doctor's time of staff. Who knows? Pocket watch. Painting of a strange man. Oh, cyber chess piece. Tenth planet. I like, uh, there's something actually I've, um, that I can reveal is something that I will be doing for a future for a future life in the workshop is um, in the previous episode of this Blood of the Cyberman we're introduced to some different Cyberman who in the artwork have a sort of cyber face logo on them kind of like the Mondazian Cybermans and I think they're in, they're either implied to actually be them or they are implied to be uh, maybe an offshoot of them because obviously the Peaks World Cyberman have the Cybers logo and uh, then the Mondazian Cybermans of the new series have just a plain circle. Um, but these ones were seen to have a sort of face, but of, but in, that's only in the artwork. In the game, um, it does seem that they just have like just straight chest pieces like, like that. So it is something that I'm definitely going to try doing um, just just for a, for, a, for a laugh. I have done another uh, custom for Blood of the Cyberman, which I'll be showing off as well, but... Uh, Yes, that is another one you can expect knowing. Ooh, translator. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Fat. Distress beacon. Where did we get the distress? Oh, that was from the um, previous episode. This town of face mask. So, map of medieval Venice. It's a shame. It's a shame they haven't got as many classic references in this. That would have been nice if they've had some a few more classic references. Chronon blocker. Oh, that was from the Dalek episode. And. The record. Okay, we got we got one, two classic references as such. Two or three. We have got that. That's a new series style of guys to talk. I think, isn't it? It's got the. Yeah. So we got we got the Doctor's recorder. We got the scarf. I suppose you can count the gra gramophone as a classic. I count the TV movie as as part of the classics. And the cricket ball. Oh, okay, we did get quite a few then. My mistake. All right, uh, what are we doing? All right, what's behind this clock? Ooh. What is this? <sighs> well, if there wasn't so much well, junk then, everywhere, maybe. that wouldn't have happened. Uh, not good. Is that the generation energy? No. Looks a bit like it. But I guess now. Right. Assemble the Doctor, plane. I find this laser screwdriver thingy. Oh. What do I do with it? Excellent. Right, now you need to go to the console nearest the door. Insert the laser screwdriver into the slot and push the button. Nearest the door. So here. How does Amy know it's a laser screwdriver? It's not exactly like there's a label on it. Well, 
the wires have been shaken loose. I better put them back in. Alrighty. Oh, I like these puzzles. I don't know why I really like these kind of puzzles. Where's the red one? The red one's got to go. No, because that, that's wrong. Right. Do the red one first. Actually, no. Start. Let's start on. This can be the only way the blue one's got to go. So the yellow... Must have to go up there. The red... get it without, because then I've got to cross the purple and the green. And then the green goes all the way around the edge. Yeah, I think I've got it now. Yep. Alright, laser screwdriver in. We should start. I sh uh, looks like all these looks like all these other levers will be missed. They need to align it with the controls here. Seems to move it clockwise. Oh, was that it? I did it. Hey! Oh, that's a relief. Did I mention just how itchy those things are? <laughs> Once or twice. By the way, you really need to tidy that drawing room, and I owe you a new thingy of aftershave. Aftershave? I don't have any. We're sliding on to the next pocket! Oh, good, a bell, because the other alarms weren't loud enough! That's the cloister bell! It means something is very, very wrong, and I don't know how to... Fix it. That's weird. Oh, okay, that was intentional. Doctor? I thought that was a glitch. <laughs> Where's he gone now? Oh... Great, but anything else like to go wrong? I like anything say, they, at all? Oh dear. They did that kind of lighting in Amy's Choice when they're going towards the frozen, the frozen moon. I actually really like that. Um, right. Well, that's the end of the first episode. Uh, can I? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was the end of uh, Act One. That was a bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. Um, yes. Well. It's good to be back playing these. Um, I look forward to playing uh, Act 2, uh, which will be coming on Thursday, and then Act 3 on the following Tuesday. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favourite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.